I'm going to go over the math and the scribing and marking for the half dovetail notch. This is the half dovetail notch to start with. These are the ends of the logs and they have a tongue sticking out from the end that is the half dovetail notch. And the bottom of the half dovetail slants down and the top of the dovetail go up here and look at the ends the top of the half dovetail slants down and that slant is the same as that angle here. So go along with that drawing what we have in the drawing is a notch here and straight out a notch on the bottom and this angle and if you look at the end of it here's the slanted notch or slanted angle and here's the straight across then you go to the back side you go straight across from the front of that angle and you copy the angle on the other side it goes down here and up here and to the shoulders so this is what the half dovetail looks like when you get done so as we go along you can visualize this as our end product now I'm going to talk about the math behind the dovetail We have a log, and assume you've squared up the ends of the log, and the distance from the ends of the log are the distance of the inside wall plus the thickness of the wall on both ends plus any extension you want past the ends sides of the log. So if you had a 10 by 14 foot log cabin, and this is the inside wall. This would be 10 feet. And if you had a 6 inch thick log, this would be 6 inches plus whatever overhang or you want on the log on the log wall. The math behind here is that if you have a dovetail, and here's the dovetail notch saw from the side, you want to determine the distance thickness of the half dovetail notch, this distance here. How wide is the base? So to do that you have the log diameter and let's say you want the next log down to have a gap, G, between the two logs. To calculate this value of the dovetail notch you have D plus G over 2 and that's all you really need to know for the thickness of this base. So if this was say 10 inches and you wanted a gap of 1 inch what you would do is add 10 plus 1 divided by 2 and that's equal to 5 and 1 half inches. So this distance from here to here would end up being 5 and 1 half inches and those are the calculations, that's the most critical calculation you can make for the half dovetail notch, is the base distance of the tongue. Let's talk about how you scribe the lines for your half dovetail notch. You have a log end, and you have determined your shoulders for the inside log wall, and mark those on your log. Let's say you have another end down here, of course, and you've marked that shoulder as well. And these distances are the same. So you've got a 10 foot inside log wall, for example, and you've given, you've marked off the distance you want the tongue to be from the inside wall so that you either have a extension sticking out past the log end or you have it even with the corners. First thing you need to do after that is to mark a center line. So you mark a center line down the log, either snap it or measure it down the middle. Then you need to calculate, as we have talked about, the thickness of your the base of your tongue. So as we did before, the diameter of the log plus any gap you want between the two logs divided by 2 
is equal to that distance. So once you calculate that, say that's x, you can put x above and below this center line so that this distance is equal to x. You can divide it up. Let's say you have a 5 inch gap, 5 inch thickness you want here. You can put 3 inches here and 2 inches here just to make it easier. So you can have a mark at 3 inches below the center line and 2 inches above the center line. The next step you take is to mark a line parallel. The upper line is parallel to the center line. And the bottom line, guideline, is at an angle to the center line. And the angle has been calculated by you and you understand the rise over the run of this line. And hopefully you have created a jig that will help you make this line the same every time and the angle at the end the same. Because when you turn this log on end, you'll have the end of the log here. At the end of the log on the top, you're going to come across at the same angle that you made this lower tongue, lower part of the tongue. This end, well let's say it's down here, not here, down here lower, you go straight across. So that's the slope of the tongue going across the end. Now let's turn this log on its side and you have wrapped this line around the log so you know the distance from the end on the back and the front. So this is the log that's exposed, the outside of the log. This line is matches here and this matches here. What this line does is go straight back parallel to the center line and this line is the same slope as the other side. Coming down this line goes back up. And there you have it. That is, Those are the markings for cutting out the half dovetail. This gets cut out And that's the cutout here too. That's this and then this. So you cut an angle up from the bottom and cut this shoulder. And the tricky part is cutting this angle along the top and the bottom markings and then cutting off at the shoulder again. And that's how you mark and cut the half dovetail notch. You have straight across the top and this angle down then you'll come and cut that down at an angle and this straight across and then you come straight across from this top but at back at this angle so the bottom is flat out like this then when you put your logs together you're going to have a nice joint form for your half dovetail it's nice and tight. And that's your half dovetail notch for your cabinet.